Ada for telling my fiancé I regret starting a family with him? This story might be a little long ick. I have been having some conflicts with my 25F fiancé, 25M, for a couple of months now and I'm at my wit's end. So to start off on a little background of our relationship, we have been together for about three years. Since the beginning of our relationship everything was great we rarely had any problems and I was genuinely really happy and I could confidently say he was too. After being together for a year and a half I found out I was pregnant, it was a bittersweet feeling as I still felt like we had a lot left to do for our careers, so I had to put mine on hold. He was very supportive to me but at times I felt like I was alone in the pregnancy. I would tell him about how much pain I was in all the time and he would just be like I'm tired and in pain myself and when I'd ask for like a massage or something he would be like no I'm tired but proceed to ask me to do it for him. I cried myself to sleep almost every night and I was always sad and every week he found something new to argue about even after I continuously told him it's putting too much stress on me and the baby and he said okay no more problems but would still continue a couple days after. He would much rather play with his friends online or go out with them which I didn't mind too much since he should enjoy his time before our baby came. But things never change once our child was born. He got worse, all he does right after work and on the weekends is play with his friends online. I currently don't have a job so unfortunately I have to rely on him. He always complains he's too tired from work which by the way yes he works hard but he doesn't much a lot of the times, but apparently he could stay up late until 5am playing with his friends. I ask him to help with our baby and he barely does. I bathe our baby and ask him for help he says that I could do it on my own it's not hard. I ask him to dress up the baby he says no he's busy playing. I ask him to please serve me food he says no he's waiting for me to come out after feeding the baby so that I could serve us since he's too busy playing games. The crazy part is he wanted a child more than I did. He doesn't help me with the baby and I have to constantly remind him that being a psalm is a job too but he doesn't see it was one just because I don't get paid. But he should realize that the job is being a chef, maid, nanny, housekeeper, etc. But it's all done for free BC it's my responsibility and I tell him it'd be nice if I got some type of allowance. I feel like after I got pregnant he took me for granted and he feels that having a baby means I'm stuck forever. Our baby is fairly still kind of newborn so once they're a little older I will be looking for a job so I don't have to be as dependent on him. I told him that sometimes I wish I didn't have his baby, that I regret being with him. I feel bad and regret saying that because I truly love him but it was in the heat of the moment. Even though this story is based of an issue he isn't a bad man overall it's just this problem that makes him seem bad. Sometimes he is good and out of nowhere steps up but it shouldn't be a rare occurrence. Him and I now argue almost every other day because of this issue and he says I'm annoying and all I do is argue and complain and he wants to be left alone and not be bothered. It's frustrating asking him for help and he doesn't help, like I shouldn't have to ask for your help with our kid when it's your duty to be a parent too. I admit I'm not perfect and I could work on myself but he needs to admit his flaws too. If he did his part with our kid then I wouldn't have to nag, so much dot he gets a break whenever he wants, he gets to go out if he pleases, I don't have the luxury to do that since the baby depends on me and I have to do everything and the baby is breastfeeding so I'm always hooked. I don't know where the downfall to our relationship started because prior to my pregnancy he would do anything and everything for me. So AITA? Edit. I'm going to be answering some questions you guys have here. We are not married we are engaged. For those of you asking what he's done because it sounds like he's done nothing let me specify again by saying this post was written about a specific problem not the whole dynamic of our relationship. You need to sit down and have a talk. We've had several talks and over time he's improved but we're still not all the way there. What has he done for me? He does a lot believe it or not it's just that sometimes he prioritizes his video games, his friends basically forget he has different responsibilities now and so does he apparently so they I guess kind of persuade him. For any celebration we have he goes above and beyond for me making me feel special on my day I know it doesn't excuse some behavior but he doesn't just fully ignore and dismiss me. He has never missed a doctor's appointment before or after the birth, he was there all throughout my birth he stayed up the entire time taking care of the baby while I rested, he didn't leave the baby's sight not even for testing. He got me food and fed me and bathed me, he helped me clean up in the bathroom he took great care of me postpartum. Get full custody and child support. For one I would never put him on child support BC not matter what one thing he will always do is provide for our child. He never denies us money and for his kid he'll spend his last dime that's for sure. He provides for me without a problem and doesn't tell me no to the things I want. He doesn't fully ignore his child as soon as he comes home he spends some time with us and when I start to feed is when he starts playing, once he starts then he takes a while to get off, until bedtime. It didn't start off that way not too long ago he'd only be with us until I guess he reignited the friendships. For those asking if I have a support system that I could leave. Unfortunately I don't my only support system has been his family. They've all been super great to me and taken me as their own. They're always getting things for the baby and I. 
His parents live nearby so they're here every day and his mom helps out with the babies so I would never take their only grandchild away when I'm not in a physical abusive relationship. His mom and sister do scream at him to help when they come over and he's playing videos games. He was very much a mama boy and was babied up until me. Both him and his sister. I remind him all the time I'm here to be a wife not a mommy. So because of me he has gotten independent. If I do ask to do something on the weekends he does take me since I've expressed a lot of the times how I feel crazy being in the house all day. And no I don't love the idea of him, I actually do truly love him bc there are times where we are going great it's just this issue that the gaming takes over I have turned off the game before and I will continue having talks until I'm over it and call it ends. Also I'm not taking anything in bad heart, I appreciate all the words you have to say positive or not. That's the reason I came here with my problem. Thank you all for the advices and encouragement as well as opinions you guys have.